Hi, welcome back. I'm Adam Rosen. Thanks for finding me. So today I've been going through a whole bunch of exercises, sort of that thing on the list of things to do. Um, now that we're in the shutdown, surgery is canceled, so I have a whole day of doing exercises and videos for you. So this series is going to be just on some basic leg exercises. If you haven't already seen, I have an exercise, two actu actual videos on exercises for the upper extremity. One's the soup can workout, so even if you don't have dumbbells, you can use soup cans. So find that video works the arms, the shoulders. And then there's another exercise if you're lucky enough to have elastic bands. There's a band exercise which shows you four basic exercises for the chest, the back, and the shoulders. So in this series, these are very, very common exercises that I run through with all of my patients. You know, so many people have said, oh, I, I can't exercise because my gym is closed. Well, these are all simple things that you can do at home on the floor. Usually I'll start with my patients if they have hip or leg or knee problems in the office. We'll actually go through five repetitions um, of each of these exercises and I have them do five more at home. So I have people typically start with about 10 reps, so 10 repetitions, 10 times of doing one particular exercise. And again, you've heard me talk about this in other videos. The first week you'll do one set three days a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example, you'll do these exercises. And then if you're comfortable in a week, you can then do two sets. So go through the repetitions, 10 repetitions of these exercise, one set, and then repeat that for the second set. And then in a few weeks, you might be comfortable enough to do three sets. And if that's easy, then you can increase the repetition. So you might do three sets of 12 repetitions of each exercise or three sets of 15. And again, if it's even easier for you, you still think, you know, this is really easy for me. Well, then you have options of if you have an ankle weight, you can start with adding a one or two pound ankle weight on your ankles, which will increase the difficulty of a lot of these exercises. Maybe you don't have ankle weights. Maybe you have a hiking boot or even a ski boot. Put the ski boot on for these exercises because that added weight is going to make it harder for you to do these exercises and maybe you have elastic bands not all of them but especially the, the side ones what we call abduction these exercises actually work really well if you have elastic bands and you can place them around your legs just above the knees to increase the resistance so let's jump right into it and we're going to go through these exercises just to show you you can go through the sequence on your own once today. Once you know it, memorize it, you can then go through it on your own, or you might just repeat it if you're going to do two or three sets just to keep you on target to remember and keep the timing going. So here we go. OK, first exercise we're going to do is what's called a leg extension. This is working the quad. This is actually great for people that have knee problems, especially if you have knee arthritis of the kneecap, because most of the exercises that you do when you bend and straighten your knee aggravate the kneecap. So on this, you're going to lay back. Bend the opposite leg. This takes the pressure off of your low back. You can even take a small towel if it's more comfortable for you. Put it underneath your low back. Make sure your head's down. Keep your hands down. We're going to engage the leg. So first thing you do is pull your toes and ankles up. Lock your knee. Lock your quad. Engage your quad. Pull your leg up. And then you're going to start. We're going to do eight of these. So lift up. You don't have to go super high. So you see just about 8, 10, 12 inches. Back down. Don't let your heel touch. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. So we're just going to come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then when you're done, switch. You bend this knee, straighten the opposite leg again. Pull your toes and ankles up, lock your leg, lift up, down, two. Next exercise, we're going to work abduction. This is going to be easier if you're standing up, a little bit harder if you're laying down. And again, if this gets easier, you can add an elastic band or add an ankle weight. So when you're down here on your side, and you can either use a pillow to protect your head if you have neck problems, if you don't want to lay it down, but make sure you're supported. You can keep your legs straight. Some people have difficulty, so if you have bad hip or knee arthritis, just bending the hip and the knee slightly is good. And then you want to raise the top leg up. Pause for a split second, bring it down again. Don't let them touch. Keep them about here. This becomes two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then what you'll do is rotate around, or you, if you're at home, you can just roll over. This way my back's not facing you. Same thing, opposite leg. Keep the top leg engaged. Up one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now the, the next exercise is what's called the clamshell. So sometimes I'll do this, you know, one leg and not have to flip over, roll over, and go right into the clamshell, but just to keep the sequence separate so you understand it. This is a great muscle which targets some of these smaller muscles called the abductors. Um, think of them like the rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. It's a very, very common complaint for people that have pain on the side of their hip, and it can be very weak and cause some problems with your gait. You might have a lot of limping. So it doesn't seem like much, but what you're going to do is keep your knees bent to about that. And you want to keep your ankles together. We call it the clam shell because the clam shell is just going to open and it's going to shut. You're going to see you don't have to come up very far. It's, you know, you're not bringing your leg all the way up in the air, but you got to keep your ankles together. And it doesn't seem like much because you're just lifting your leg. So start in the beginning without anything. But if it's easy, you can add an ankle weight if you have it around the top of your knee. Or this is a great one where you can wrap with an elastic band to make it harder. Um, so you're going to start with just top leg up. And again, see the ankle stay together. Two, three, four, and you'll feel it here. Five, six, seven, eight. And then roll over, switch over on the other side. And these are great because even my patients that have trouble getting off the floor, they can do this in bed. So this is something you can do in your bed, especially first thing in the morning um, before you get up just to get your muscles moving. So the same sort of thing, support your head, Keep your knees bent, ankles together, top leg up, two, three, four, and again you'll feel it here, five, six, seven, eight. And then this next one, there's kind of two ways to do it, and I'm going to show you the first way which I have people in the office do it. It may be hard, stomach, breathing problems, back problems, rolling onto your belly, um, and your leg doesn't move much. This works extension, works the back of the butt. And what you're going to do is lay on your side. Again, you can support your head, lay a pillow. But what you're going to do is engage this muscle. So engage the leg. Try to relax the opposite leg. So I'm doing this with my right leg. I'm going to engage the leg and then lift up. So you're really kind of using those butt muscles to what's called extend your leg or extend your hip. That's two. That's three. Now, for some people, you may only move it this far. That's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. And then relax that leg. Engage the butt cheek on the other side, and then again lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, two other exercises that I offer as sort of options to many of my patients. You know, these are not um, the first things I start with, but two other exercises. One, if that one was hard, you can do another modification of a leg extension exercises. But you have to be able to get into this position. And again, some people have difficulty, you know, arms, shoulders, back. Um, but in this position, what you can do is work similar muscles by kicking. So you're going to take this leg and kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then switch. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the last exercise, which a lot of my patients do, which is very helpful, especially if they had bad backs, is what's called the bridge. And again, a lot of ways to modify this, but you know, keeping your hands down, neck, and you know, a lot of times you see me looking at the screen, but look straight ahead, keep everything in line, put your hands down. Engage your butt cheeks and your low back, and you want to lift your butt up and then bring it back down. And again, try not to touch and relax between each repetition. Try to come up, so that's two. Come down, but don't let it touch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you know, there you have it. You got six exercises all the things that you can do. Um, add this to your routine. It's a great thing to do, especially first thing in the morning. You know, throw the sheets back, get these exercises going. It really helps to build up the muscle strength, which is going to help. And it's been shown in a lot of studies that these exercises and just exercise in general and strengthening of your muscles will improve your health and decrease pain. Um, but again, like in all of my other videos, um, talk to your doctor first. You want to make sure that you are healthy enough that you can do these exercises. If you have specific orthopedic problems, just check with your orthopedic surgeon. 
um, that these things are safe for you depending on your arthritis or the surgery that you may have had. Um, and until next time, I'm Adam Rosen. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, again, tune in. You can check out my podcast, which is on multiple platforms. You can find it. It's under Your Knee, Your Health, which is going to answer a lot of the questions that you might have about similar problems about your knee and just general health questions, um, exercise, eating habits, things like that that are helpful. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you'll be updated when the next videos come out. Until next time, stay safe.